Hi friends, today let's learn about the dural venous sinuses. Dural venous sinuses is classified into the paired and the unpaired dural venous sinuses. We will use two interconnected stories to learn them. Typically, we will first cover the story followed by discussion on how the story is connected to the dural sinuses. Next, we will have a slide on the story recap. Finally, after covering both the stories, we will wrap this video with some high yield facts very important from examination viewpoint. So keep watching this video till the end. Let's begin the first story. The story is titled, My Invitation to Men in Black. I invited Men in Black home to watch the movie Transformers. How I got introduced to Men in Black is covered in the previous story used for internal carotid artery. I will share the link in the description below. On the way, Men in Black's van stopped suddenly in the middle of a cave as fuel got exhausted. Men in Black filled only half the tank in the nearby fuel station as the petrol was of inferior quality. They decided to fill the other half with superior quality petrol at the famous petrol pump run by my spinster friend Pari. The road connecting the petrol stations was sigma shaped. Pari and I studied together in the Delhi University. We are through with the story. Now let's see the connection of story with the paired dural venous sinuses. Delhi University, abbreviated as DU, helps us relate to dural sinuses as it has the first two alphabets of dural. Men in black becomes a solid clue for us to relate to paired dural sinuses. Transformers used in the story helps us remember the transverse sinus. Menin for meningeal and van for vein. Combining both of these with middle makes it easy for us to remember the middle meningeal vein. Cave for the cavernous sinus. Inferior and superior quality petrol for inferior petrosal sinus and superior petrosal sinus. Famous rhymes with squamous using petrol and famous we can easily remember the petrosquamous sinus. Spinster for spino and pari for parietal. Using both these, we can remember the spinoparietal sinus. Sigma for the last paired sinus, which is the sigmoid sinus. A recap of the story is here. Let's now see the second story that is relevant to the unpaired dural venous sinuses. The story is titled Ant-Man and the Twin Sages. Story begins. After the first cave, there are two more caves interconnected by a straight tunnel. Ant-Man was waiting there for men in black after meeting Sage Inferior and Sage Superior, the twin brothers. Both the sages occupied a golden throne. Sage Superior is very famous for curing many diseases with oil extracted from basil like herb. We are through with the other story. Now let's see the story connection. Antman is a clue for the anterior part. Using Antman and interconnected cave, we can easily remember the anterior intercavernous sinus. Since we have two interconnected caves in our story, Along with the anterior intercavernous sinus, we have the posterior intercavernous sinus too. Straight for the straight sinus, sage for sagittal, twin brothers sage superior and sage inferior is a solid clue for the next two sinuses called superior sagittal sinus and inferior sagittal sinus. Occupied for occipital sinus, basal for the last unpaired dural venous sinus called Basilar venous plexus. A recap of the story is here. Friends, now let's learn some high yield facts about dural venous sinuses. Dural venous sinuses are lodged along the lines of separation between the endosteal and the medial layer of the dura mater. The sinuses receive blood from the brain and its meninges and from bones of calvaria via the diploid veins. Some sinuses also drain CSF through the arachnoid granulation. 
thrombosis of the superior sagittal sinus may take place due to spread of infection from the nose scalp and diploid tissue thrombosis of the sigmoid sinus may take place from the infected middle ear or mastoid antrum all this may result in the impaired drainage of csf and development of hydrocephalus septic thrombosis of the cavernous sinus may be caused by numerous communication from the dangerous area of face orbit and pharynx this is manifested by severe pain in the eye and ophthalmoplegia due to the involvement of third fourth and the sixth cranial nerves friends thanks a lot for watching this video join our efforts in simplifying medicine let's make learning easy and fun for the medicos subscribe our channel med through story and press the bell icon share this video among friends and medical groups